Chronicle Chronicles July 31, 1498 Christopher Columbus discovers Trinidad On July 31, 1498, Christopher Columbus, during his third voyage to the New World, sighted the island of Trinidad in the Caribbean Sea. The sighting of Trinidad marked the first European exploration of the island, which later became a significant part of the Spanish Empire's colonial possessions. Columbus's discovery contributed to the European understanding of the geography and resources of the Americas. Chronicle Chronicles July 31, 1777 The Second Battle of Saratoga the Second Battle of Saratoga, also known as the Battle of Bimis Heights, took place on July 31, 1777, during the American Revolutionary War. This pivotal engagement was part of the Saratoga Campaign and resulted in an American victory over British forces. The battle's outcome boosted American morale and attracted foreign support, ultimately leading to France formally entering the war as an ally of the United States. The victory at Saratoga is considered a turning point in the American Revolution. Chronicle Chronicles July 31, 1948 President Truman orders desegregation of the military. On July 31, 1948, President Harry S. Truman signed Executive Order 9981 which called for the desegregation of the United States Armed Forces. The order marked a significant step towards ending racial discrimination within the military and set the stage for broader civil rights advancements in the country. The executive order sought to ensure equal opportunities and treatment for all service members, regardless of race or ethnicity. Chronicle Chronicles July 31, 1981 The Air Traffic Controllers Strike On July 31, 1981, the Professional Air Traffic Controllers Organization, PATCO, launched a strike to demand better working conditions, higher wages, and a reduced work week. The strike involved thousands of air traffic controllers across the United States disrupting air travel and leading to the shutdown of the national airspace system. In response, President Ronald Reagan ordered the controllers to return to work and, when they refused, fired more than 11,000 of them, which had a lasting impact on the labor movement and air traffic control in the country. Chronicle Chronicles July 31, 2003 The Conclusion of the Liberia Civil War on July 31, 2003. The Liberian Civil War came to an end with the signing of the Comprehensive Peace Agreement in Accra, Ghana. The agreement, reached after years of conflict and multiple failed peace deals, led to the establishment of a transitional government and the eventual departure of Liberian President Charles Taylor. The agreement aimed to bring stability to Liberia and pave the way for reconstruction and national reconciliation after years of violence and instability.